So how do we tell if a wine is out of condition? When you're in the restaurant, the waiter comes over and asks you if you'd like to taste the wine. He's not actually asking you if you like the wine. And when you pick that glass of wine up and stir it round and have a sniff, in most instances, that's all you need to do because what you're looking for is to see if the wine is fresh and looking at the colour to see if the wine is clear and bright. The most common fault is the smell of cork in the wine. And when we say the wine is corked, we don't mean there's a lump of cork floating in the wine. That can happen on many occasions if the cork is a little bit dry or if the waiter has put the corkscrew in too aggressively, all sorts of reasons. Probably nothing wrong with the wine. When we say corked, we mean that there is a smell in the wine of old books or damp cardboard or mouldy cellars. Uh, and this is where a, a rather nasty little fungus, which is always present in cork, has come to life. And it has its shortened name, TCA. And the presence of this TCA, or corked nature in the wine, has that bouquet I've mentioned, but then if you want to be doubly sure, you taste a little bit of it, and in the mouth it'll be bitter, sour, it'll suck the vapour out of your mouth, and you know you've got a bad bottle of wine. You then hand that back to the waiter and say, I'm afraid this wine is corked. And you must be brave, because if it's in there, it won't be pleasant to drink, and very often it won't go away. In fact, it might just get worse. Other things you're looking for, I mentioned the brightness of the wine. You want to make sure that the colour is clear, both in red wine and in white wine. If it's not, if it's got a little bit of oranginess to it in a white wine, or if the red just looks a little bit musty um, or a little bit cloudy, then this could be that the cork has dried out a bit and air has got in. And if that happens, the wine can oxidise, which is the early stages of turning it into vinegar. And this can happen for any number of reasons. But again, you'll quickly notice that and there'll be a sour flavour in the wine. Another change in the colour can be caused if the wine has been badly stored. And if it's got warm while it's been stored, or the temperature has fluctuated too much, then a process called matterization has taken place. And this is where the wine is turning on its way to a product named after the island from which it comes from, Madeira, or port-like. Uh, this may not always be unpleasant, but it is possibly not what you're expecting. And so when you, again, smell the wine, you'll get a prune-like smell to it. It'll have a caramel sort of overtone to it. And in the mouth, it'll have this rather sort of, we call sort of jugged fruit-like flavor to it. Again, it's not right. You can ask a waiter to take it back. Also, of course, if you've bought these wines from a retailer, then you can take them back. If they've been badly stored and it's not your fault, you may struggle more with corked wine because that is not the fault of the merchant. It's not the fault of the producer. It's a natural phenomenon. But these are the main things you're looking for when you're tasting wine to make sure that you're going to have the best possible drink that you've purchased.